Hi, my name is Ty and I'm from the Nanticoke Lenape Nation and we are here with my granddaughters Anastasia and Natalia and we're sitting in the turkey tail trading post and today we would like to read the tale of the turkey's detailed tail. How did Native American tribes discover different foods? How did they find out about each other? Has anyone ever wondered or asked these questions? Come along on this fun story written by me, a member of the Nanticoke Lenny Lenape tribe that tells about a journey of a famous turkey and how he introduced many tribes to each other. Many seasons have passed by and many, many moons have come and gone as the tale of the turkey's detailed tale is repeated by many as it's told. The story goes like this. There once was a great, grand and masterful turkey. He was intelligent and wise and his name was Chicken name. And he was intelligent. He could communicate with man. Each day he told man elaborate tales about many subjects. One tale he told often was about others in distant villages. He claimed to have visited many villages and while in each village, he would tell the tale of the others. Everyone in the villages were amazed at this turkey's tale, the tale that he would tell of some far away distant villages, but they really didn't take heed to his elaborate detailed tales. One day a villager had a grand idea to paint a detailed picture on Chicken Neem's the turkey's tail, a picture of an ear of corn that they all ate and that they grew in their land. This way, maybe the others that the turkey told in his tales would do the same so that he could see if he was just telling a nice tall tale. When Chicken Eam went to the next village, the people saw the masterful, wonderful, curious painting of the ear of corn on his tail. They asked the turkey, what's up with your tail? And the turkey told the detailed tale on his tail. He said, I told you about the others and their villages to and fro and how they exist and have magnificent plants that they all grow. They eat this plant that's painted in detail on my tail. And it's what I have told you in all my detailed tales. Now they decided to paint this detail on my tail so I could show you what's in my great grand detailed tales. They painted it on my tail because I told them of your detailed village tales. So the people from this village were so impressed and pleased that they decided to paint squarely on the turkey's tail in great detail a picture of the beanstalk with the beans that is grown in their lands. They told Chicken Neem the turkey to travel along his way and go to the next village that he tells in his detailed tales. Chicken Neem the turkey was so excited that he had the paint detail on his tail and he could not wait to tell the village tale that of his painted detailed tail. So he quickly left that village and pranced and twirled to the next, which was far, far away as he happily displayed his tail and was so excited to soon tell his detailed tale about the other two villages which painted the magnificent corn and beans squarely on his tail. The people of this village were so amazed to see such a display of art that they were mesmerized by what they saw in detail of the turkey's detailed tale. 
wow what are these things that's on the feathers of your tail and the turkey told the village tale in detail from where the corn and beans are found as he pranced and twirled his tail And the people of this village decided to do the same and they painted the detail of the squash they grow in their village squarely on the turkey's tail. Chickadeen the turkey was so excited that he had his painted tail and he could not wait to tell the village tail that he had of his painted detail tail. So he quickly left that village and pranced and twirled to the next, which was far, far away as he happily displayed his detailed tale and was excited to soon tell his village tale about the other villages which painted the magnificent corn, bean, and squash in total detail squarely on his tail. As he got to the other village, the people quickly saw his tail and they said to Mr. Turkey, what tale do you have to tell about the detail squarely on your tail? Then the turkey told the tale of his painted detail tail. The villagers got so excited and decided to paint their detail on the turkey's tail to tell their tale. They painted the tomatoes they grow in detail on his tail. As the villagers listened so intently to this turkey's tale, they got a grand idea to follow the turkey to find out the details painted squarely on his tail. So they packed their bags of tomatoes and followed to and fro to the distant village. Off they are go on the turkey's trail to see the painted detail squarely on his tail. Lo and behold, they came to the first village, the village of the corn, and stood there with amazement at this distant land, told so many times by the turkey in his detailed village tales. Once again they packed, this time full of corn, and with the tomatoes in their bag, and followed to and fro, to the distant village, off they are go, on the turkey's trail, to see the painted detail squarely on his tail. Lo and behold, they came to the second village, the village of the bean, and stood there with amazement at this distant land, told so many times by the turkey in his detailed village tales. Once again they packed, this time full of beans and with the corn and tomatoes in their bags, and followed to and fro, to the distant village, off they are go, on the turkey's trail to see the painted detail squarely on his tail. Lo and behold, they came to the third village, the village of the squash, and stood there with amazement at this distant land, told so many times by the turkey in his detailed tales. Chickening the turkey was so excited now that he had his detailed painted tail and he could always tell the tale that he had of his paint detail and how he brought these villages together. So now we can eat the corn, beans, and squash, and tomatoes together all in one seat. Now the villages get together at the turkey tail trading post at least four times a year during the different harvests so they can all share what they planted and grew and paint it in detail squarely on the turkey's tail. Now you can see sometimes the tale that is told is not just a tall detailed tale, but a great story painted in detail, squarely on the turkey's tail. And here's a picture, the map of the corn village, bean village, the turkey tail pit, trading post right in the middle, the squash village and the tomato village. Thank you girls.